Hi everyone, Lolly here. Tonight I'm going to do a flip through of the second um, journal in my spring collection. I posted a video earlier of um, the first one, is the Remember This journal. And there's a video also of this, and it is in the Etsy shop. And I'll post the links for both. This one is the Be Kind journal. They are one signature. This one is sewn um, with the um, string here for the binding. I tried to sew it in the binding, but it was too thick. So here we just have some real pretty coral kind of orangey colors in there. I think they're so pretty. And then the background is birds. And there's some lace here. Some paper with writing. Um, looks like script on there and then the little card here on the front that says be kind the butterflies the little piece and again with the flowers and the eyelash trim this is some old lace here on there and on the back I don't normally do anything so that the journal can take the wear and tear of being picked up and set down a lot so let me just go through the inside I want to do a flip through um, just so Whoever wants to purchase this journal can see the inside. So I think we're close enough. Um, here I have a little button and just a tiny little thread spool I thought was cute just to hang on there. This one measures eight and a half by five. It's a little more than five. It's a little bigger than the usual traveler's notebook. It's about five and a quarter. So I don't know where my cousin got this, but I got it for Christmas and um, I don't hang it on my keychain, but I hang it right here with my stuff, and it's so handy. And then you just push the button. But anyway, um, so here we go. So this is a coin envelope that has been embellished. It's a pretty good size, it's not a mini. Here's the pocket here, it has covered in lace. Here we have a little band, belly band. Lots of writing spaces, places to put your pictures. Here is a tuck spot. Try, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get the tuck spots filled in a little bit, but I do send along a thank you gift when my um, customers order, and it normally has the paper um, that was left when making the journal. So you'll be able to make your own um, ephemera and tags and things to put in here with that as well. So, again, some notebook paper here, some graph paper, blank paper. I try to just put a little tab or something on most of the pages because I'm not, I do need to dust it and get all the glue out, but I like to have something on most of the pages. So, um, here we have just this little spot here. And then again, here's another top spot. It's just a little eyelash trim on there. Just a little button here, a little ribbon and yarn on the tab. And just a little area here where you can put a picture and write the story on the back of it here. Here's another spot to put your pictures or glue tickets or something that you saved. You can glue them on here. Another pocket here. That's a little flower on there. It's an embellishment. Another little tuck spot here. You can put cards or letters or something behind. Again, another pocket here. And I do have a uh, journal coming up, I believe. It is, I believe the cover is going to be this paper here. I actually really love that. So, but, um, just working on my spring collection. So here's another little band here to put your ephemera in. Here's a pocket. This is blank on the back so that you can write on it. Here's a little butterfly pocket. There's quite a bit of stitching in this book. And I left some of the strings long, but if you don't like them, you could just trim those off. Um, a lot of people like that look, so I wanted to go ahead and leave them. Here's just a little tuck spot here. 
and I tucked behind it a piece of graph paper that I didn't quite get in there. Here's a little tuck spot and behind that I have another coin envelope. Some blank paper has lots of room for journaling. There's a band here to put your ephemera behind and a little pocket right here. Blank pages. This is a planner paper. This is part of the um, binding that I used for the tie just to give it a little little matching look to it. And here's a little tuck spot here. The yellow and orange paper is really springy. More blank pages to write on. Here's a little tag and it is blank on the back. And here's this little tuck spot here. It has stitching on each side of it. And again, just the orange uh, seam binding tab. More blank spaces. Lots of places to put your whatever you're going to tape or glue or stick in the book. So right here is a little flat but also has a little pocket. And so you can put something inside there. And again, the yellow and orange paper. Here is a spot here. And that's just about it. Again, this is going to be in the Etsy shop. I'll put the link below. And I'm going to name it um, the Be Kind Journal, just so it's easier to reference. The first one was Remember This. And just more blank spaces here. And another embellished coin envelope on the back tucked in this pocket that's covered in lace and that's that for that journal the back again is smooth so that it can handle the wear and tear of carrying it around putting it on your bedside taking it with you on a trip if you needed to so that's this journal thank you for watching spending time here um, I'll put the links for Etsy below and on Etsy I'll put the link to the YouTube video so um, anyway I think it turned out really cute it has a lot of pages in there it is one signature but it is very large and um, again it's sewn here and you can see in the middle where the string is tied for the binding so, all right thanks again and as soon as I get the next journal in the series finished I'll be posting that as well take care Good night.